Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 18th, 2017. Not long ago, magnitude 6.4 earthquake strikes Argentina. Now, just yesterday, I was doing a report on an ancient volcano, Lanin, in Argentina, which had a massive swarm of earthquakes which tallied up to 60 earthquakes in 45 minutes. However, this earthquake is much further north and nowhere near this volcano. And we're going to get right into the information. Now, as I had mentioned the other day, we had a very large coronal hole that had opened up in the sun. And we're going to be getting to that in just a few minutes. But we're going to look directly at the situation right now. And there are two readings that are showing up in this area of Hoi Hoi, Argentina. Um, the USGS registered a 6.3. Some of them registered a 6.4. One registering uh, magnitude came in from the Geoscience Office in Australia. The other came from the USGS here in the United States. Now, we're going to go ahead and pan out because I want to show you the swarm of earthquakes that are occurring in the California area and also north in Alaska. Now, this has been going on for days, folks, and I keep mentioning that the earthquake activity will start to increase as this large coronal hole starts to move towards Earth. As you can see, it's a very wide coronal hole. It has two very large openings. The first opening to the right is actually moving towards the Earth as we speak. And then later on in the week, the other coronal hole to the left, and I'll circle it with my cursor, that's going to be moving towards us. So I would say earthquake activity is probably going to peak within the next 24 hours and stretch straight through to possibly a full seven days. So if you live in an earthquake area, you should be on guard, have an emergency plan set up. Let's get directly into the USGS. This is the region of Argentina, which is pretty far north. This earthquake occurred near the border of Chile and the northern border of Argentina near Bolivia. Now, this is not a densely populated area where the epicenter was. However, moving eastward, there are very heavily populated areas in this region of Argentina. And you can guarantee that many, many people felt this earthquake in this area. There's just absolutely no doubt. We're taking a look at the uh, another feed, and this will basically give you the epicenter here. And this is a diameter, basically, of people living in that area that probably felt this earthquake. Now, in the upcoming days, well, let me rephrase that. In the upcoming hours, there is probably going to be more increased earthquake activity. And again, this is going to continue probably all the way through the beginning of this week and stretching into next week. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you live in any earthquake area, you should heed this warning. Make sure that you have a preparedness plan set up. This is going to continue, I have mentioned over and over again, as we move into the middle of February and going into the first week of March, this activity is going to increase. There is just absolutely no doubt. Now, during the middle of March, around the 15th or 16th of March, we're going to be moving into... A planetary alignment with Jupiter, Venus, the Earth, and the Sun. And this is going to create additional stress on our planet. Therefore, increasing 
earthquake activity as well as volcanic activity. You know, and yesterday I went over the information on volcanoes and we have volcanoes erupting all over the globe. We have to be very careful if you live in any of these areas. I cannot stress how important it is to have some type of a plan. We have very, very weird weather occurring all over the world. Right now, the state of California should be in a complete state of emergency with all of the rainstorms that are coming in. Just did a story on what's happening in Los Angeles, and we all know what has occurred in Oroville, California, and that situation we are watching very, very closely because there is another storm rolling in right behind this storm they named Lucifer that is hitting the California coast as we speak. And these coronal holes, I'm going to get right back to this. These coronal holes will, without a doubt, create the situation for very heavy earthquakes. And by looking at this monster on our screen, there's absolutely no doubt, folks, that this magnitude 6.3 or 6.4 in Argentina may just be the precursor to what is about to occur. So please, if you are not subscribed to this Nibiru channel, please subscribe. Make sure your notifications are set up for all of our updates. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the Nibiru channel.